the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Transurfing TV. And today on Transurfing TV, renting yourself out. I've actually never done a video on this. Kind of surprising. I thought that I've pretty much covered everything. But today I'm going to get down into renting yourself out and what it actually means. This is a highly effective way of managing pendulum people or people pendulums, right? People come at us with their inner intention and we can get caught up in the grip of the pendulum, especially if we have our own inner intention that we're working with or we're sleepy snails, right? As soon as we're in sleepy snail mode and a pendulum person comes for you, with their inner intention, it's only a matter of time until you're hooked in and you lose yourself to the script of another or you lose yourself to the prod of the pendulum, right? And the value in maintaining your own script regardless of what it looks like to the pendulum person outside of you, this is going to be how you will continue on towards your destination, your end frame, your goal, your life, your happiness, and doing it with ease, right? Doing it with ease and giving the pendulum what it wants so you can continue on your way with your power, with your awareness, with your meta power, and with your energy. Because that's really what this lesson is about. It's about conserving energy so you can continue making the moves that you need to make in your layer of reality towards the version of reality that you want to experience. As soon as you get caught up in somebody else, something else, a massive pendulum, right? Such as politics or a big flared up issue in your environment, you are sucked away from the version of you going towards your goals, going towards your version of reality that you want to experience. Before I get started on all this, remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Reality 2.0 and Tufty 2.0, links below. The International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. Come and join the party, guys. And reality underscore transurfing on Instagram. Check it out, guys. Okay, so renting yourself out is in... Reality Transurfing Steps 1 through 5, Defeating Pendulums. There's a lot of information in this chapter about how to manage and deal with the pendulums in your reality. And renting yourself out is specifically for people, pendulums, right? People, I mean, it can be bigger too, but it's really the most helpful with people. So professional settings, this is huge especially if you have a goal that's like, you know, you were obviously at work or doing what we do for money with the intention of making money, right? Or with the intention of getting the, the higher position, furthering ourselves up the ladder, getting success, being successful. And when you get caught up with another person's inner intention, this is what will take you from that, from that script of you smoothly going towards your end goal. This is the same with interpersonal relationships. This is the same with um, obviously family, spouses, children, people in your life. Really, whatever your, your intended state of being is, let's say you want to be in a healthy relationship, a healthy romantic relationship where you don't have a lot of arguing or fighting or you want to have a nice time with your parents or your family, you want to go to work and you want to feel as though you are 
you know, you're, you're in line with everyone. You're, you're, you're gelling with everyone. Things are working out and you're moving towards that version of reality that you want to experience. When you start acting against that script, remember lining your thoughts, actions, and behaviors up to the script that is already created outside of you that takes you to that end goal. As soon as you start arguing with a pendulum, you're off it right? It's gone. You're off it. And what happens here is you will get lost. So you'll get lost. You'll deviate from your script. You'll get sucked into an external script that does not serve you or your intentions and your energy levels will deplete. Now, when you realize what's happened, you wake up. Oh my God, I see myself. I see my reality. This isn't in line with what I want. This isn't this isn't the thoughts and the actions and the behaviors that are going to line up with my script. Then you can go about correcting yourself, getting back onto the script towards what it is you want to experience, but you're going to be doing so with lower energy levels. So in acknowledging when a pendulum is coming for you, specifically a person, and acknowledging it in that moment before it hooks you, before your energy levels are depleted, before you get sucked away from your script, this is where power comes in, right? This is where power comes in. This is where meta power, you, you, you are cultivating meta power. You are not allowing a pendulum person to take you away from your energy levels, your momentum, all that stuff. Okay, so renting yourself out, a few points here to go over to solve a problem. Rent yourself out. So a lot of times, and I love this statement by Albert Einstein, you cannot solve a problem in the same um, in the same state of being, or that's not what he says, he doesn't say state of being, but at the same frequency where the problem was created. I'll actually throw the quote up here so I don't totally mangle it, but you get what I'm saying, right? That, that if you have... If you have a problem in your reality that was created by you, right, because we are simply materializing a result of our actions, thoughts, and frequencies, so you have a problem in your reality, you are not going to solve that problem from the same state where the problem was created. So why this is valuable information, this allows you to step out of the problem to remove yourself from the frequency of the problem, to adjust yourself, rent yourself out to the problem, and approach the problem from a energetically clean sort of state, and then you can easily connect with the solution to that challenge in your external environment, in the alternative space. So renting yourself out is really just Another way of saying, I see myself, I see my reality, waking up in the moment, stepping back from the hook of the pendulum, and then approaching the situation from a more neutral state of being. This is so, so, so effective. It is amazing. So second, a pendulum maintains the thought energy of its adherence at its own vibrational frequency. So again, what is your intention, right? What is your end frame? What is your goal? And if a pendulum has hooked you, you are no longer resonating at the frequency of that end frame. Your thoughts, actions, and frequency are not in line with the script that is going to get you there. So again, the pendulum wants this to happen because if you are resonating at the vibrational frequency of the pendulum, then that energetic channel open between you and the pendulum just has you getting, you're just like bleeding out, right? You're bleeding out energy. The pendulum likes that. The pendulum gets more of what it wants, you get less of what you need to get you to that end frame. So remember, keeping your frequency higher, the pendulums aren't going to be able to hook you as much or as hard as they would if you were resonating at the frequency of the pendulum. So if you have an angry boss, right, and then you're sort of matching the frequency of this angry boss, 
This angry boss is going to hook you very, very easily. Remember what your intention is, remember what your goal is, and adjust your frequency to match that, tuning off the frequency of the angry boss. That way when he comes to you, I see myself, I see my reality, and you can start to address his inner intention with frailing, right? With renting yourself out, giving the appearance. Maybe all he wants is for you to take things seriously, right? Maybe he doesn't even necessarily want anything from you. He just wants to see you vibrationally matching him and he wants you to take things seriously. This could be the same with a spouse. Maybe they just want to feel like they're not alone and they need to be, you know, matched up somehow with your, they want you matched up with their frequency and they're going to go about trying to affect your frequency. Now, if you just give them that with awareness, right? Okay, the pendulum's coming for me. What does the pendulum want? Does the pendulum just want to see that I'm taking things seriously or I'm listening or I'm doing something, right? Set with the set standards of that pendulum, then you can go about just giving the pendulum what it wants really quickly and get that pendulum on its way so you can resume your actions, thoughts, and frequency towards your end frame, right? It's really, really simple once you get the hang of it, but it's also very, um, it's also very empowering. When you can master this concept and acknowledge, even before the pendulum gets to you, right? Like, okay, my vibrational frequency is high today. I'm stepping out into my world. This is almost going to ensure that a pendulum is going to spot me and say, look, let's see if we can, let's see if we can bring that frequency down. This is kind of how things work in our energetic environment. So that pendulum sort of, you know, calls you out and says, hey, are you, are you ripe, right? Are you, are you, um, manip uh, can I manipulate you? And if you are set and you have habitually been practicing waking up in the mo moment, seeing when a pendulum is in fact coming for you, able to wrench yourself out, I see myself, I see my reality, then you can sort of like posture yourself and as soon as the pendulum comes, rent yourself out, give the pendulum, pendulum what it's asking for, seemingly. This is you acting exactly the way the pendulum wants you to act, but you know in your head that it's just a game. You are just satiating the pendulum and that is all you're doing. The energy of a still pendulum becomes available to you. This is so awesome. This is amazing. Energy is fluid and it's moving around from person to person and pendulum to pendulum, right? We are our own pendulums too. So you give up your energy to that pendulum, that pendulum swings even more. If you can still the pendulum, that energy, I know it says becomes available to you, but it really was always available to you. That's your energy, right? This, this, is, this is your energy staying available to you for your goals and your intentions. And also there's a little burst of meta power there. Like, ha ha, <laughs> ha ha, pendulum, <laughs> I just tricked you, right? And as soon as you can say that to yourself, ha ha, pendulum, I just tricked you, then you, you're like, I've got this, I've got this. And then you realize more and more that it's just a game and it's kind of like we're acting for points, right? The pendulum gets you, you lose points. You defeat the pendulum by renting yourself out. I see myself, I see my reality, waking up to the pendulum in the moment and not allowing it to hook you. You have just scored some points. <laughs> okay, so acquire the habit of remembering. Big one, big one. This is, and I've told this a lot of times in videos, 
Um, I'll state it here just because I feel it is really, really valuable. When I first started trans surfing, I would be like on cloud nine, trans surfing, everything's good. Oh my God, I'm loving life. And then I'd wake up all of a sudden, and I'd be like, hey, wait a minute. Um, the last 24 hours like really sucked or maybe it was like a week later. What, what happened to my trans surfing reality? Um, something happened, right? And then I, and then I would retrace my steps. Oh, a pendulum got me. That's right. And then my frequency got affected. I lost myself. I didn't see myself or my reality. I started to experience an induced transition. I got sucked into the vortex of the pendulum, which was away from my script of my choosing, right? And this time in between me experiencing the reality that I chose, happy, fun, vivacious, energy, living my thing, taking action towards my goals, all that stuff, and waking up in an induced transition, this time shortened over time, right? Maybe I'd wake up a few days later and then it was just a day later. And then I would wake up 12 hours later, right? 12 hours went by since the pendulum hooked me. Then maybe it was just a few hours. Then I would wake up immediately after and be like, oh, wait a second. I feel a slight shift in my mindset and my energy levels. What happened? Pendulum got you. So what happens when you acquire the habit of remembering all this is that time frame for you to wake up, get shorter, and this is where you conserve energy, right? So then you learn to wake up in the, mo in the, in the moment, and then when you become an advanced trans server, you can actually see the pendulum coming towards you before it's even hooked you or affected your energy. So acquiring the habit of remembering is massive for energy um, efficient, efficiency, for maintaining your energetic levels and balance, right? Invite the pendulum to your script. This is not in the Transurfing book. It's not even really in the Tufty book. This is kind of my own little trick and I found this very, very effective. If you run that, that, that goal slide, right? Even if it's just a very temp temporary situation, like the pendulum's gonna leave you alone, right? You can look the pendulum in the eye and be like, you're coming over to my script which is you leaving me alone to do my stuff. When you invite the pendulum into your script and you give that vibe to the pendulum, oftentimes that person, I don't know how it happens, but that person can see that you are not easy, easily manipulated and that you are staying steadfast, steady on your course and they aren't going to hook you and affect you. So inviting the pendulum to your script is a really powerful way of just being like, don't fuck with me, <laughs> right? Don't fuck with me. Okay, so remember, it is all just a game. Don't take it so seriously. As soon as you take it seriously, your frequency lowers. Importance lowers your frequency. As soon as you assess the value as high, oh my God, my boss is coming for me, or oh my God, my spouse is trying to pick a fight with me, or oh my God, a parent is driving me nuts, or this is horrible, I can't deal with this anymore, why does this keep happening? All the, those sorts of thoughts, you have become more susceptible to the pendulum's prod. If you cannot take it seriously and remember that it's just a game, remember the points, right? Either the pendulum gets the points or you get the points or keep the points for yourself. So not taking it seriously and just playing it as if it is a game, it all becomes just a game. And sure enough, your external reality starts to mellow down as well. You, you get off balance, you get all riled up, you are going to rile up your reality. It's about, it's about bringing all of that down 
being funny, being comical, laughing, confusing the pendulum with lightheartedness and being, um, you know, just chill about the whole thing, you will quiet down the pendulums in your reality. And this is you truly renting yourself out, right? So is this part of your transurfing practice, renting yourself out? Do you need to make it part of your transurfing practice? Let me know your thoughts on this one, everybody. Comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, and join us in the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.